Hey guys, here's a quick little video for some friends. I wanted to extend an offer just to a few folks um, on uh, knife sharpening. I've been uh, practicing a little bit. I'm not going to say I'm amazing or the best out there, but I do enjoy sharpening knives. I also want to build a little bit more content for my channel uh, as I'm going through a series of companion knives, hunting knives, and stuff like that. So what I wanted to do is basically offer my sharpening service for postage is all. You send me a knife with a return label, I sharpen it up. I also would like to do a video of it, kind of compare it, you know, mainly focused on ergonomics, not beating knives up, not hammering through things or any of that crap. Maybe cut some onions or taters with it or something like that. I also like to make sure that I have the edge down. Just to kind of show you a couple of different ideas on knife sharpening, or not ideas, just to show you some examples. Um, I can't remember what angle this is, probably either a 17 or a 20. This is my everyday carry neck knife. I don't know how well you can see that or not. Doesn't do too awful bad. This is a 17 degree magnet cut. I know some steels are a lot harder for other people to cut and, or to grind and sharpen. It can take a lot of time. Listen to how this cuts through. Listen to the consistency of that. Just in case you want a nice little, where'd it go? Little sliver, little curly cue. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Whatever. That's Magna Cut, Ritter Hogue, and 20 CV. This one's at 20 degrees. Um, what else we got up here? Oh, M4. Just a sharpen M4. This one's at 17 degree. The reason a lot of these are at 17 degrees is I like to test steel um, to see where it's going to roll or chip at. And then I come back to and just slowly build back on my personal knives. Ooh. I don't think that one's as sharp as some of the others, but that ain't bad at all. Um, another one, ooh, S35VN from White River. I really like White River's S35VN. I've had really great luck with it. I get it sharp, sharp, and just, it does some pretty good stuff. I don't know how, but that thing there is just... Just so, so slicey. This, I like this knife. And this, this has held up really well with that 17. Um, I've used it quite a bit and I haven't had uh, much rolling or chipping or anything on it. Uh, let's get another one out here. A2 tool steel. This is another one. LT right, boy, I tell you what, this thing here is just so icy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but Just having some fun there. But that's an LT right Camp Muck A2 tool steel. Really nice. Here's one, thicker edge. Uh, this is where I put a lot of my hunting knives at, realistically, um, especially for other people's a 25 degree angle. I find across the board holds up really relatively well. This is a S30V. Yep, CPM S30V steel on this one here. Has a little bit of a thicker edge on this. Um, so I, I kind of, but still, that's just, that's just fun. And I like sometimes just seeing 
how fine I can get a little curly cue going. I can hold on to things here. You see that kind of come? Oh, got a little thick. But I just like to like to play a little bit. Anyways, if you would wouldn't mind helping me out on some content, I wouldn't mind sharpening your knife for you and sending it back to you. I know a lot of the guys, you know, sharpen knives probably better than what I do. I just enjoy it and have fun. I also know some guys never ever sharpen their knives because they find it daunting. They also find it daunting with uh, some of these materials and stuff. And uh, I use the Work Sharp Kin Onion with the blade attachment. So it's freehand, but let me see if I can get some consistency here. I try really hard to keep everything really nice and consistent. Um, but, you know, I'm not gonna say that it's perfect, but I know I can put an edge on almost anything. Not sure how well that's coming through for you guys. I got a kind of a bright light to my side so I can't see the screen. But yeah, enjoy. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, or whatever you'd like to do. Have a wonderful day. Appreciate you taking time to watch us.